Chances after Friday's L train collision. Meanwhile, at least one angry passenger on the train is suing the Chicago Transit Authority. Ann Cavanaugh joins us from our newsroom with the latest on this story. And good afternoon. Good afternoon, David. The first class action lawsuit was filed this morning at the Daily Center. It seems quick, but victims have to make their claims within six months, so there is some time pressure here. Meanwhile, two investigators from the National Transportation Safety Board are here in Chicago trying to figure out why this accident happened. It was really scary. We thought the train was going to tip over. Thank God that it did. Henry Scott is the first plaintiff in a class action lawsuit filed this morning in connection with Friday's CTA accident. Thomas Zimmerman, the attorney filing the suit, estimates there could be as many as a thousand plaintiffs. This is a class action lawsuit filed on behalf of all of the passengers on the Brown Line and Purple Line trains who suffered some type of bodily injury or financial damages as a result of the collision. So far, the NTSB says it doesn't appear there were any mechanical problems with the Brown Line train that rear-ended the Purple Line train on Friday morning. The Brown Line driver remains hospitalized, and this morning, investigators did interview him. Zimmerman contends this accident was totally avoidable, and the CTA needs to pay up, not just to the injured, but also to those who lost money because of time away from work. I suffered um, neck injuries, um, a concussion, and back injuries. Scott was treated in the emergency room for several hours on Friday and was one of 141 passengers the CTA reported injured that day. Now the number of injured has gone up to nearly 200 as more people have come forward over the weekend. The CTA has sent investigators to area hospitals and is already checking to make sure all the victims are legitimate. We go through um, their claim with them and we investigate it, and um, our law department does that um, with any accidents. Later today, NTSB investigators will also listen to audio tapes of conversations between the Brown Line driver and the CTA dispatch center. They say they probably won't update the media on the progress they're making with this investigation until midweek. Robin, that's the latest for now. Back to you in the news studio. All right, Ann, thanks.